so let's suppose that you and I are the only people in the world, okay, and that you are making something I want and I'm making something you want, um, but that these wants and, and productions aren't lined up in time, so we have a problem. I need to get your stuff without having anything to give you, you need to get my stuff without me having anything to give you, so, so barter's not going to work here. Okay. So one way we could arrange our, our lives okay, is to have money. You can sell me some goods, so I'm writing minus goods, so you, you had goods on your balance sheet and now we're subtracting them from your balance sheet, and sell them to me plus goods. And I send you some token, okay, in the other direction, okay. So minus a cha there's a change in my holding of money, uh, delta M, okay. And here plus delta M. Not so complicated. We're going to start simple, okay. That is. Uh, Money. That's money. But suppose there is no money in this economy yet, or we haven't agreed on it or something. Um, let's now think of another, another mechanism. We could do this entire thing not with money, um, but with credit, with pure credit, just by keeping track of, uh, of accounts. So I get the goods from you, and I say, thanks for those goods, and let me just write a little note to you um, indicating that I owe you. I owe you. And that's a liability. It's a debt. I owe you. And that is a, I'm going to put um, delta as changes in IOUs because we may already have IOUs out there as well, and there's just more IOUs now. Okay, I owe you more because I have these goods. So this, is, this, of course, requires us to trust each other and things like that, that these are, these are IOUs. And this might be the sort of thing you use with friends, right? Like, I'll pay for lunch today, you'll pay for lunch tomorrow, that sort of, that sort of thing. You're familiar with that. Okay. But if we don't trust each other, so that's, that's the pure credit kind of system. One thing I want to note about this pure credit kind of system which we'll come back to is kind of important later on. Um, notice that the quantity of outstanding IOUs increases when we make a transaction. You know, we're writing a new piece of paper that says IOU. Whereas when we did it with money, we we're just exchanging existing pieces of paper back and forth. The, the money supply isn't changing when we, when we move a piece of paper from my pocket to your pocket, okay? But the credit supply is changing. The outstanding quantity of credit is changing when I write an IOU. So there's an expansion of credit in this, this mechanism. So it's a little different. Okay. But now suppose that uh, you know, we don't trust each other. Uh, we don't know each other well enough. We are not sure we're going to see each other again or something like that. Um, so now, but we trust some third party. That's why I left that room in between these two, okay? And that third party um, is willing to step in between the two of us, okay? Accepting my IOU and issuing its own IOU, which you accept. I'm going to call this third party a bank. Now I've used M, even though this is a liability of the bank, and it comes from nowhere. It's, it's an expansion of the balance sheet. So just like in the pure credit economy, there's an expansion of the money supply, there's an expansion of credit in order to facilitate this transaction. Okay. There's more money because money is a form of credit, actually, in this world. It's a liability of the bank. So that's why it expands and, and contracts as, balance, as, as, as the uh, patterns of trade uh, move. All right. 
all baby stuff, okay? But some deep and puzzling economics under, underneath that. This, of course, is, is much more like the modern economy, okay? The mod the modern econ this is how the modern economy works, okay, in, in a very stripped-down, simplified way. 